Hey guys, Marlo back with yet another Funko Pop video review. This time it's for the Pop Asia Legendary Creatures and Myths line of Pops here. I have here some of the Philippine Legendary Creatures of Folk Tales and Folklore. This is the Aswang, followed by the Siokoi, and the White Lady. I'm of Philippine descent. I was born in the U.S., however, so I can't even speak the language which is Tagalog and uh, there's other dialects. My parents are actually from the north. They speak another dialect called Ilocano and my wife is from the south. They speak Bisaya over there so there's a lot of dialects and I don't know I still have to try to at least pick up Tagalog which is more of the national language but uh, anyways I've heard some of the stories. Aswang is quite a uh, well-known uh, folktale creature legendary creature. He's pretty much like a vampire type creature. He's just uh, a torso more or less, no legs or anything, and he has bat wings and a long tongue and he uses that to suck the blood off of people. The sea okoy I've never really heard of, but I guess he's more of a sea creature, much like the creature from the Black Lagoon, which is really cool because I love the creature from the Black Lagoon. And I've heard stories of the White Lady, basically uh, she's a ghost and people tend to see something like her at the side of the roads late at night in the dark. Just a uh, white female figure there haunting the uh, <laughs> corners of, uh, you know, road roadways and whatnot. So, kind of creepy stuff. But uh, here is a quick look at each in their packages. There's different variations. This is a Pop Asia exclusive and this is Flocked. I know there's like color variations and whatnot. I think for the Sea Okoy here, there's an orange version. And the white lady here, this is a glow in the dark version, which I preferred. I think there's a regular white version. Let's take a look at the back of the boxes. So there's a little write up on that one. If you want, you can just pause the video and read all of that. So quite interesting. And for the Sea Okoy. Go ahead and pause that if you want to read that. And there's nothing here on the White Lady, unfortunately, but more or less she is a ghost, like I said, so uh, she's not too hard to explain. So the back of the package is there. The side artwork. And that's about it. Let's open them up and take a closer look. At each of these, uh, each of these legendary creatures of myth and folklore, out of their packages. So here are each of the mythical creatures out of their packages. Let's start off with the Aswang. Again, this is a flocked version, which I think is really cool. So to me, it's like a real bat. You know, he has some short hair, and ooh, look at that. The uh, Paint variations through them is really cool. There's some sort of uh, grayish, light black highlights throughout. You can see a little bit of blood there around his mouth. Pretty cool. And there in his abdomen, I don't know what that is. Looks like some guts or something. And again, like I said, he's just like the upper torso of a person, more or less, with uh, bat wings. Don't know why he doesn't have a lower portion with legs, but that's how the stories go. And he has a long tongue there again to suck the blood out of his victims. So, really creepy and crazy looking character or uh, creature from folk tales. Definitely don't want to see him, you know, in the dark alone in the woods or something. This, so you see Okoye, this is kind of cool. I mean... I guess it'd be freaky to see him in the waters, especially if you were alone fishing or something, but he looks pretty cool. I mean, again, I'm a big fan of the creature from the Black Lagoon, and I've always liked uh, sea creatures and merman and mermaids and stuff of that nature. So, again, I gotta look into the stories of this guy a little more, especially since he does come from the Philippines. I've never heard stories about him, so that's kind of interesting for me. And last but not least, we have the glow-in-the-dark version of the White Lady here. And I didn't really notice the black washes 
on her. So that's kind of neat. Some extra detailing there to make her look kind of dirty and weathered. And you can see it's going throughout her hair there and the back of the dress. So really cool and unique pop there. So that's three of them lined up. And since this is a glow-in-the-dark version, I want to see how well she glows. So let's give that a shot. I'll uh, cut the lights and we can see how cool her glow really is. Okay, let's cut the lights. Wow! Wow! She really has a really nice glow to her. Wow, one of the best glow figures in my pop lineup so far. Wow! <laughs> that is a nice glow on this white lady figure. Holy smokes! All right, so no trouble seeing that at all. And that just adds to the overall creepiness of this pop figure. So very happy with that. Very cool. I'm glad we tested that out. So let's cut the lights, or turn the lights back on. And there you have it. The white lady, again with the Siokoi and the Aswang from the Philippine lineup of mythical creatures and folklore. So very cool. There you go. Whoops. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something about Philippine folklore. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, like the video. And if you happen to know more about these guys, please comment below. Let me know because I am curious to know some more backstory about these uh, uh, mythical creatures. And hopefully you enjoyed everything, guys. So keep on collecting. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.